guys welcome back to novice nurse pierre here so in this video i'm going to be telling you guys what i'm going to be bringing to school or my school supplies for this upcoming semester so as you guys know i'm going to be taking medical assistant classes for eight weeks i will be starting august 12th the contract didn't go through in time for me to start for the july 29th class so i will be starting august 12th um and so um, I have all my books and supplies for all my classes. Uh, I'm still debating on whether I'm going to keep um, three classes this semester. So as I said in my previous video, I'm going to be having Anatomy 1, Nutrition, and uh, Statistics for the fall semester. I'm debating on whether I'm going to drop the fall the uh, statistics class um, and that all depends on how my medical assistant classes go if I feel like they're like super intense and I cannot handle three classes then I'm gonna just drop that class and take it next semester um, but if I feel like oh yeah this is easy like I can add another class on then I'll just go ahead, I'll go ahead and take it but yeah so I'm gonna show you guys the school supplies I got so far so I have everything already packed up and ready to go um, so this is a binder a big old binder this honestly reminds me of like my high school days I bought all these supplies well majority of these supplies from the dollar store or Dollar Tree and I bought some supplies from Amazon um, so this one I bought out this one I bought on Amazon I like it because it's big and it's it was said guaranteed to last all year and yeah I definitely need that because originally I bought a binder from Dollar Tree and it was so flimsy and I could tell it wasn't gonna last like even two weeks so especially with the way I, I be throwing things around so I went ahead and just got bought this binder it was like I think it was like $15 on Amazon um so what I like about it this is by five star five star is a good brand um it has this opening here it has this opening here so I have my flash drive in here so that I can use it um, to save information save like paperwork if I ever need to like take a like let's say I write a paper on my computer and I need to go print it at the library I could put it on here and um go print it at the library so I, I have two of these actually I have um this this drive this I think has 32 gigs so it's a lot of memory in it so it should last all semester and my next one is I have another one just in case so I bought this like Nivea lotion because I figure in my clinicals for a medical assistant, I will be washing my hands a lot. So my hands will be dry. So this is, I'm from New York. So I got a New York Nivea. <laughs> I love Nivea because it's really like moisturizing and it's small, compact. Um, I would normally probably, probably put my butters in here or something like that. Because by the way, I sell hair, hair butters. I think I mentioned that in my last video. But um, I just, I don't have a small container that would fit in this binder. So that works fine. Next, I'm going to open this up for you guys. So this is how my binder is set up so far. This is what it's looking like. Um, over here, I have my pencils. This is a, uh, a mechanical pencil. I love mechanical pencils. It has like a little um, gripper so that my fingers get, you know, when you're rubbing from writing, I don't get calluses, but I probably will get a callus anyway. Um, I have ballpoint pens. This is a ballpoint pen and a sharpie just in case I need to like write my name or something on something I don't know and this one try to hold up as much as I can in this one I have other more pens I also have like colored pens that I bought so it's um, I heard that writing things in colors sometimes helps with note taking to organize things so I have a bunch of I have like five or six different colored pens in here I have regular black ballpoint pens more pencils and um, a highlighter just to highlight notes and in here are no cards like flashcards just in case I want to make some flashcards to help me memorize things all right in here this little pocket I like that it has pockets I have a um, five subject notebook so I can write notes in there I haven't really organized that like how I'm gonna like organize it yet but whatever um, I just have it just in case and in here I have a planner so it is a 2019-2020 weekly and monthly planner so I really like this because my favorite color, one of my favorite colors is gold. I love gold on anything and everything. As you can see, I got a lot of gold going on. I just love gold. So yeah, it's the, um, it has like little note cards in here. It has a reference information, holidays for the year. Um, it has daily uh, calendar and monthly calendars. And it goes from July 2019, it starts in July 2019, and it ends 
I guess in June or May. Ends in June 2020. And in the back, oh, it has, no, I didn't even see this. It has like note taking, I guess, for probably for scheduling. And here's a little, this thing. So I guess I can like, so I can like, you know, put pages behind here. So I know where I'm, I know where I'm at like that. Here is a little folder. I guess I could put things in here, like important information. So I'm gonna just put it around like that for now. Just to keep it closed. That's probably also what it's for too, to keep it closed. Body of my binder, I have, let's start from the back. I have um, dividers, so I have miscellaneous folder just in case I have, I wanna put like my documents, financial aid, you know, advising information back here as a miscellaneous folder. And the green, um, I'm sorry, in the blue is my statistics folder just in case I decide to take statistics. I have it written here, statistics. And then I have note, um, loose leaf paper for note taking, like extra paper. Here I have anatomy and physiology. I have it in green. When I was in high school, I used to always make my math uh, dividers blue. I would always make my science dividers green. And I would always, what was yellow? English. So yeah, I was like super, I'm all like super OCD about things and organized about things. So I'm, I remember that. So as you can see, my statistics is the blue tab. My science is the green tab. More loose leaf. Um, nutrition is not in English class, but it's just going to be yellow. And then the red is my medical assistant class. Obviously it's not, you know, a history or class. I think my reds were history and yellow was English. So in my medical assistant one, I have this page, which is my contract with the grant place. This is my paper for my things I need to complete before I start classes so I can remember, check it off. And then this is the course description for medical assistant. Um, it's right there. And then I have more loose leaf paper. Um, this thing, and I remember from high school, it's a, um, it's a hole puncher, like a portable hole puncher. So you open this part, you put the paper inside it and you push it down and it punches holes. Because I noticed like a lot of schools, when they give you papers, they don't have holes in them. That's so annoying. And so you just end up sticking into a folder and forgetting about it. So I bought a portable hole puncher so I could make holes and put them in my binder. So I can visually see my important information that I might need. By the way, this is for fall semester. And I can zip it up so I can make sure everything's closed because the binder I had before didn't zip. And I didn't really like that because it made it hard for me to, um, like what if I have pens, like, you know what I mean? And they just fall out and, you know, who wants to have pens falling out everywhere? You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, so I have a zipper, it zips right it up. Nice binder. I do wish it had like a handle so I could carry it like a, like a briefcase or something, but this is good. It grips, I can hold it like this. It grips well, it's fine. Um, for my lectures, I bought this little, like, what is it, a recorder. So, if I, I'm gonna have, like, some of my lectures are three hours long. And, um, so I bought this recorder, and basically, I press record. Um, I record everything that it's listening to, so I'll give you an example. Let me turn it on. So, first of all, you turn it on. Where is the button to turn it on? It charges into the wall. So it has like a little USB. You can charge it with your computer. You can charge it into the wall. And you can hook it up to your computer if you want to like save lectures onto your computer. Or if you want to put it on your computer, then put it on your iPod so you can listen to it while you're driving to school. Like you can record. So it's on now. And I like that it's a little it's in my pocket. Press record. It's analyzing. Okay, now it says one, two, three. Now it's recording me while I'm talking. So then you press stop. It's saving, it's a saving now. You probably can't see it. But yeah, it's a saving and then press play. Okay, now it says one, two, wow, three. Too. Now it's recording me while I'm talking. So then you press stop. Yeah, so it records. So that's okay, it. Now it says one. You press stop and if you want to delete it, you press this button on the side that says, that says AB. It says delete file, delete all, exit. So I'm gonna have to say delete file. So I'm gonna press M, which is, I guess, some type of form of enter, and it's deleting that file. So yeah, that's how you do it. It has eight, I think it has, yeah, eight G gigs in it. And yeah, um, I really like it because it's loud <laughs> and it like, it's easy to use, turn it off, you just snap it off and I can charge it into the wall and I can save it onto my computer just in case I run out of, I run out of space. So I really like that. I can always save it onto a CD, play it in the car, put it on my iPod, play it in the car, play it while I'm walking somewhere. So that's convenient. So I'm actually gonna put this in my binder. Um, I charged it fully already. Front panel, 
I'm gonna put it in here. So this is my laptop. It's a MacBook Pro. It looks like these. I mean, I had this keyboard thing for a while, so it kind of looks crazy. And what I um, do to stay organized, because um, from what I've heard, I mean, I'm naturally like this, but from what I've heard, you need to stay organized during school and specifically nursing school. So what I have here is I have a folder called nursing and it has all important information. So it has my federal student aid stuff in there, FAFSA, um, my letter of recommendations, um, confirmations that I've signed papers, um, screenshots of my um, previous school's um, transcript, um, let's see, um, tuition information so I know what I'm paying. Um, yeah, just important information for school that you might need in a folder. I have a loan repayment calculator uh, screenshot just in case I wanna go figure out how to pay off my loans. Everything is all in here and um, that makes life easier for me just so I have a nursing folder so I can go through it and know what I'm doing. So yeah, this is my laptop so I will be probably bringing this with me to um, make notes or if they need us to go on the, the internet or whatever, I will be bringing that with me. Um, I don't have it with me in, in this room, but I also have a laptop um, bag. So the laptop bag will probably hold my laptop and also hold my binder. Either that or I might just go ahead and get a book bag. I don't know yet. I heard nursing school and medical assistant classes gives you a lot of books, a lot of textbooks. So I heard rolly bags are also efficient for these kinds of classes. I might end up getting a rolly, like a small petite rolly bag to bring to school. These are my, this is another bag that I have from the Dollar Tree. This extra divider. I have more boxes of pencils more highlighters these are just things i've opened but i didn't need all of them for um more ballpoint pens more erasers because you know your pencil bases aren't going to always do it another highlighter and more loose leaf paper so yeah this is just extra like supplies that i have just in case i need to stock up i run out of ink you know i run out of paper things like that so or i just need you know, my you know my divider rips because you know these things like to rip or whatever you always end up needing the, those divider things to protect it or whatever i actually wanted plastic dividers but i was in the dollar store and they don't got no plastic dividers so i might eventually get plastic dividers from like amazon or something um and those don't aren't as likely to rip during the course of the year because i definitely remember that happening in high school okay the next thing i want to talk about is because i'm taking what i suggest for everybody is before school starts is to study. Now, I know school hasn't started, but if you know what classes you're taking and you know what your classes are gonna be about, if you read online what it says it's gonna consist of, the, the uh, class description, you kind of have an idea of what the class is gonna be about, do some research on it, you know what you're gonna need for the class. So I keep hearing about how intense anatomy and physiology is. So I, my best friend, Sophie, uh, put me on to some flashcards. So I bought these um kaplan medical anatomy flashcards so this it's filled with and it's very organized of all the systems and um so it has an introduction and contents body organization the integumentary system the skeletal system articulations muscular system nervous system sensory system this is my dog chase say hi hi my name is chase i'm dog sitting my mom's dog chica but she's being a brat it's not nice be nice to chase be nice to Chase, right? Be nice to him, okay? You be nice to Chase, okay? Now Chase, you be nice to Chica. You, both of you, leave me alone. Like the other systems or whatever. So I know that the, for Anatomy 1, I'm only gonna be doing these systems because I checklisted off the uh, course description to double check and I'll only be learning these um, flashcards for this semester and I'll be learning these flashcards for the next semester so I'm only focusing on these flashcards and they tell you the number of flashcards per uh system so I basically started studying like I've stu been studying like three flashcards a day and when I say study I mean memorizing everything so I started doing this a few weeks ago maybe like two or three weeks ago I don't know how long it's been now but so I have completely memorized body organization integumentary the integumentary system and the skeletal system like i'm on my last three cards of the skeletal system skeletal system the skeletal system was a a lot of work <laughs> so yeah basically um i guess how i studied them is i just read them over look at the back i draw it out on another piece of paper so 
Um, in this book, I've been drawing. Like, let me show you some of my drawings. Oh my god. So, hold up. So this is a uh, drawing of <laughs> my drawing of the skull. So this is the skull, the eye, you know, the eye socket or the orbit, the um, the teeth and the nose and the back of the head, and I basically draw out basically over what the note card has because they're very detailed drawings um so it makes it easy to remember and i'm a visual learner but i also learn from repeating things doing things so i drew it out and the act of me actually drawing it out and writing each part allowed me to memorize it so i always draw it out first and then i just keep reading it over and over and over again until and then making sure to go back and i eventually just like pick it up so yeah i've officially memorized all these cards so far all these today the cards i'm going to be learning is about the um the tibia and the fibula which is the lower leg um bones and the feet so i'm on the very end spectrum of the skeletal system and yeah i have to remember all of these <laughs> yeah so <laughs> yes i bought no cards so i was looking for flashcards for the nutrition class so i couldn't find any but i you know i'll just buy the book and when school starts i'll well, I'll probably write the book before school starts and I'll have a look at it. As far as statistics did, what I did to prepare for statistics class, just in case I decide to take it, is um, is um, I watched a hour-long statistics video that explains and breaks down everything you learn in statistics. Um, and a lot of it is stuff I learned a long time ago, but it's just kind of like added on stuff. Um, so I'm like, oh, goodness. Like, I mean, I don't want to speak too soon, but math is not my easiest subject, but statistics doesn't seem like it's that hard. It just seems like common sense like it's so crazy because a lot of math like my friend Kiara she's like a math whiz and she thinks algebra is super easy but she says statistics was like kind of difficult I'm like I'm reading statistics I'm like uh algebra is difficult statistics is just like statistics like I think it's just depending on what side of brain you have I don't know but yeah this is my um bag for my laptop I don't know if everything's gonna fit in here so so far let me show you guys what I got in here let me see. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna try to see if my laptop. I know my laptop obviously is gonna fit. Let's see if my binder will fit. I don't know. I might have to get a book bag or use one of my boyfriend's old book bags. I got it in there, but it's not zippable. <laughs> so this is what it's looking like. I'll either be carrying an open bag, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be going home with with books. So I'm kind of scared. I'm probably gonna need a um I'm definitely gonna need a rolly book bag. Like those nerdy kids in high school that always brought rolly book bags to school. It's all good. Cause technically I am gonna be a nerdy student. <laughs> I looked up all my teachers on um rate my teach rate my professor dot com to make sure that these professors are good professors and most of them are except the um laboratory um web club teacher she, she got like mixed reviews so i found a better teacher um to take for her so i'm gonna try to switch into a better teacher um you want to make sure you get good 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 teachers because that can be like detrimental to your grade alone because i remember like for example when i was in college um the first go round, i was in art school so my first drawing class was drawing like 101 right i'm an excellent illustrator i draw very very well I draw people very realistically, naturally, whatever. And my teacher was a, um, he was a uh, architect. And architects don't draw people, they draw buildings and structures and, you know, buildings and structures and houses and things, right? So he's thinking about that while things are in, in lines and straight lines and being mathematically correct and da da da. But when you're a natural drawer, Yes, things do need to be mathematically correct because, for example, a human face is symmetrical, right? But it's not like lines. You draw curves and shadows and you actually don't draw lines. There's no such thing as drawing lines when you're drawing a person. Nobody's face is a line. Everybody's face is made out of shadows and dimension, right? So that's how I'm drawing. And he's like, oh, he told me, you're, obs you're like too obsessed with detail. Like, you need to stop being so obsessed with detail. How do you tell an illustrator to stop being obsessed with detail? How does that make sense? He basically gave me a D my first quarter of the class because he wanted me to draw lines. And like, I don't understand how you draw people in lines, but whatever, or how you draw things in lines if I'm not doing freaking buildings, you know what I'm saying? But he really should have taught an 
a architect class not a drawing 101 class he wasn't the right teacher for that class and so me being an a student in art all my high school years and i really deserved an a in that class i got a d because of the type of teacher that i had so you have to make sure your teachers are right because otherwise they can really affect your grade especially if they have issues biases prejudices all that yeah these are the supplies that i have um the last thing i probably do need to get one of the two things that i did want to get that i didn't get was i wanted to get in tabs like color coordinated tabs like sticker tabs so like when i get um my textbooks i can like put tabs there into those books so i know what part of the book i need to look at for studying um and for note taking and things like that so i want to get those and, and clinical notepads so when i start clinicals i have notepads so i can write things down for the nurses and stuff so yeah, I hope this video was helpful guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.